it right there? Yeah. Okay. I don't want it to tape it. No, it's good. When you're ready. Okay. Um, what are you doing there? I am doing my wrist tape. It's a ritual I've done since I started in the business. Just, Why do you do that? Well, it's aesthetics. It looks pretty. And it gives me some support. And I don't have the biggest hands in the world. So it's, like I said, it's aesthetically... If you're tanned, uh -huh. it looks nice. So what do you need the support for? In case you fall on your wrist? Yeah, I just I don't like my wrist to be really really limber because some of these kids they take your hand, take it all the way back, and this stops that. So there is a safety thing to this too, as opposed to the aesthetics. Plus if I have a dastardly mean old guy. I can take this and choke him with it. It's, it's just something I've done my whole career. And if I don't have it, I feel like I don't have my hands on I noticed some of the kids, the, the young guys are doing that now too. The tape. Yeah. And see, it's now it's, I'm not doing the Randy the Ram, but I, I did the same ritual, just different. So, and, I, um, and I don't share my tape. I don't share my screech only with certain people. If you start to share your tape, you will end up with no tape because wrestlers are they're, they're, they are typically very bad for returning things they borrow. Can I borrow some tape? Or if you give them this roll and say, "Can I borrow some tape?" and they go. Well, that would last, this would last me for another two months, but if I give it to them, it's all gone in one day. Good thinking. And it's three bucks a pop, so I'm not here to support their habit, only mine. You gotta get the um, the tights. Look at the musical. Oh yeah, that's my thing, you know. I had them airbrushed, but some of the paint's worn off now. I have some nice ones at home. Is this just the co is this costume or the warm up? This is uh, ring wear. This guy uh, wearing a ring. This the costume's here. It's hiding a flat of beer. The costume is there. This, that's that's the costume. Nice. And that's the flat of beer over there. I, I, I have to hide it because these boys are coming steal from me. Yeah, they won't repay. They will take your beer. Although they're our brothers and we shake hands and hug each other, I told you they never return the favor. They've all been talking very highly of you. Yeah, yeah. I'm like the the, the headmaster, the den mother in here. They're afraid to do something bad in front of me because I will give them the... You, you guys might have missed it when I was talking about the dirty, stinky laundry in the locker room where the one fellow came on a tour and and uh, I says, first day we're going 19 days all over Europe on, on the military shows. The smell is horrible stench. And I say, someone has dirty laundry. And he went... It's mine. I said, why would you come on the tour with dirty laundry? I forgot my bag. I left it in the trunk of my car. I said, when was, how long has it been in the trunk? Last time I wrestled, about six months ago. In the summertime, in the heat. And you're gonna, I said, and I cursed really bad. And I said, tomorrow, you show up with clean clothes. I don't care if you can't wash them, you throw them away and you go buy new ones. You're not staying on this tour smelling like a pig. Cleanliness, our number one natural resource in the world is water. There's no reason for anyone to be dirty, ever. It's free. You can wash anywhere. 
That's a real biggie for you, eh? Yeah. yeah. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Because we have to touch each other and we have to, to sweat each other's sweat. And, and, and it's what I talked about earlier about I don't like people's blood on me. I've gotten to the point where I don't like their sweat on me. Uh, another thing is the uh, shaving of the underarms. Uh, I, I cannot stand for someone to have this big hairball under their arm because I don't have the big hairball under my arm. No, you don't. So you just shave your whole chest and yeah, makes, your makes me look young. <laughs> but no, I, I'll have sporadic little patches of hair, which doesn't, you know, look that great. So I've always done that, and I've always done my underarms because it's just a clean thing. It, it's cleaner. I think so. I mean, I had rather have a guy have me in a headlock who had no fur burger in my face as opposed to somebody, you know, yeah. Who are you wrestling It's just a phobia I have. It's, 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 I have these little quirks about me. Yeah, I started to get that. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know what it is. It seems like you've got a bit of a, a um, what's that, a obsessive compulsive uh, clean thing? Yeah, yeah, but I'm, I mean, I don't go overboard with it, but just, I mean, when it's time to clean, it's time to be clean. Uh, I think if you're going to be t touching and handling and dancing and going out to the bar with your with your, your sweetheart, I don't think you should go there smelling like you just came off the pig farm in Saskatoon. I hear you. Nothing against Saskatoon. They do have pigs over there. <laughs> So who, um, who are you wrestling today? I have no idea. I haven't met the fellow yet. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's like riding a bicycle for me. Uh, it's just, I have my little routine that I do, that I know I know it works for the crowd. I know it works for me not to get injured. And it'll work for whoever that fellow might be who's going to be this bad guy who's going to beat me up. It'll make the crowd not like him. It'll make the crowd like me. And then after about 10 minutes, we've done our little match, and I'm back here to do whatever I do when the matches are over. And is, this, is this the boring part for you? Extremely. I think that's why I have a few drinks. Because I don't get involved and you see I'm in the far corner there was a picture in the WWE magazine that someone showed me when I was back there a few months ago and I went and got in the furthest corner of the building where no one was around and there was a mop bucket and a mop and it said honky tonk man is sitting beside his only friend a mop bucket and a mop but I don't need to be around all the nonsense. I get that every time I walk into these places. And I'm, I'm happy back here by myself. So you still like to socialize with them? Or... I, so I socialize, but it's, it's, uh, how would you say it? I, I give them stories and tell them stories and throw out pieces of advice here and there. Uh, as far as socializing, not really. They're over there doing their thing, and I'm back here by myself doing mine. You know, and I like it that way because the more the more you're around some people, the more they talk, and the more questions they ask. That means I have to answer more questions, and I usually give some people. They say, can I ask you a question? Yes, you can. You have one question. And then they ask one, and they say, but what about, no, you had your one question. That's all you get. <laughs> but you like it when you hear, because we've been talking to them, and, you know, they've been talking Did you hear about that neat crack one? I did. <laughs> <laughs> um, they've been talking about what a great influence you have on them and how much they've learned from you. Like, they're pretty pumped to be here with you. Yeah, they get excited about it. I did too. I, I did, and I still do when I'm around like legends like the Funk Brothers or Harley Race or Nick Bockwinkel. And you know, I, I'm like a kid in a candy store when I'm around those guys, and they're they're in my generation. But but to me, they were just 
bigger than life stars to me when I was starting in the business and looking through the wrestling magazines and here was these pictures of Harley Race and Luthez and Nick Bockwinkle and all the greats of the business. And then I know they, I know they're nervous. I know they feel that way. And when they get in the ring with me, they're nervous, and, and they feel that. And they, 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 they try so hard to do good, but they don't understand. Sometimes trying so hard to do good makes you really bad. And I try to tell them, just please. I know you're gonna be nervous, but relax. Just relax. Uh, last night the kid had my arm, and he took my arm like all the way to Labrador or something. Oh man! So I said, I says to him, loosen up on my arm. Please loosen up on my arm. <laughs> Then when I took his arm, I said, this is how it feels when you're tight on my arm. And I'm yelling to the, so the people heard me. This is how it feels to him. Feel this. You feel that. So we finally, we get back to the locker room. And I says, he says, was everything okay? I said, no, you almost broke my darn arm. And it was, it was it just, it's sore in my elbow now, but it was all still red. I said, I knew you were going to be nervous, but I mean, didn't you hear me tell you? He says, well, I, I thought I was okay. I said, did you feel me twist your arm? He says, yeah. I said, how did it feel? He said, it didn't feel very good. I said, I know, because you were doing it to me. <laughs> so, <laughs> we call that payback. If you hit me hard, I'm going to have to hit you hard. If you stomp me in the head, I'm going to stomp you in the head. If you twist my arm really hard, I'm going to twist your arm twice as hard. <laughs> okay. Hmm? my son. I've learned a little bit about music. Do you speak French at all? Do you know like three words of French? Because that part of it is a lot worse than we want. What I want you to do is say, have you heard the words? I don't want to say it. I don't know. 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 I do Okay, I'm going to start. Whatever it is, I'm going to shit. 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 I'